welcome to my channel Sandy Totero. My name is Laura. It is a pleasure to be here with you guys today. I'm doing a quick pick a card reading for the week of February 7th through the 13th and this was requested by one of my subscribers and the reading is um, messages from your spirit guides. So uh, I only chose three piles this week. I have several cards out here a few cards out here, and then I will pull some as we go through the reading as well. So on pile one, we have a citrine. These are all uh, kind of clear quartz crystals today. On pile two, we have an amethyst. On pile three, we have uh, the aqua aura quartz. <laughs> I forgot for a minute what that was. Okay, so. Pile one, citrine, pile two, amethyst, pile three, aqua ore quartz. So choose the pile that's speaking to you. I'll put the timestamps in the description box below. Then you can go to, uh, directly to your reading. If you have not done a pick a card before, generally speaking, it should be very intuitive how you make your choice. Some people like to close their eyes, and then when they open their eyes, the one that they're drawn to is the one that they choose. Some people choose based on just the number that they like, like if it's a favorite number for them. Some people choose based on the crystal that's on the pile, if it happens to be speaking to them. Uh, but however you choose is gonna be the right way for you, and don't overthink it. Please remember that these are watched by many. So if you pick a pile, you get into it, and you realize, oh, that's not really for me, just go ahead and click off of it and choose a different pile or choose a different reading. This is not gonna be the message for you at this time. Okay, with that, we will get started on this week's pick a card reading and the topic is messages from your spirit guides. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile one for this week's uh, messages from your spirit guides, this is for the week of February 7th through the 13th, pile one did have the uh, citrine, clear quartz citrine on it. So let's see what the messages are. So for um, the Sedona Oracle deck, I just asked what is the general message for pile one this week? And your message is sage, heart's desire manifesting. For the Angels and Ancestors Oracle, I asked, uh, what words of wisdom do you have for Pile 1? And you got Stargazer, set your sights higher. And for the Sacred Traveler, I asked, what does Pile 1 need to do, if anything? What action do they need to take? And you got staying focused, hold the course. Let me just look at this real quick. So th this to me is all about manifesting. It's about a week of manifesting. You know we are in Mercury retrograde. So this is not a great time to start uh, new things. Uh, you know, it is a time to redo things, to revisit things. So what I think think is this is saying your heart's desire are manifest is your heart's desires are manifesting it is whatever you focus your uh, attention to so i don't know if you're familiar with the law of attraction but the law of attraction says that whatever that you focus on you get whatever it is that you focus on energy goes where thought flows right um, and you are able to manifest. Absolutely everybody does this. I think probably if you look back on your life, you will see where when things have happened, you say, oh, I created this. I know how I created this. So we are creators of our own destiny. And this is saying to that your heart's desire, whatever it is that you desire, is manifesting by what you are focusing on. And the message is also... Or look at the results that you're getting right now. Is it what you really want? Maybe not, because this is saying set your sights higher. Uh, reach for the stars, basically. 
stars here, stars here. Um, it's almost that looking up in the night sky, and uh, I think this was actually in the movie The Secret. Or maybe I saw it somewhere else. It's just like almost like the genie, like the um, up in the night sky. Your wish is my command. Whatever it is that you set your sights on, that is what's happening. Also, what you should know this week, a new moon in um, why do I want to say Aquarius? I'm not sure that's true. Let me check on that real quick. Okay, February 11th, that's this week, is uh, Thursday, and there is a new moon on uh, Thursday in Aquarius, and new moons are also a good sign, a good time to put your wishes out into the universe, what, put out there what it is that you want. Um, generally, for the moons, it's what you want to happen in the next 30 days, but that doesn't mean you can't put it out there for... Uh, what you want in general too and I think that's all synchronistic it's all uh, happening for you this week so what you the message from your spirit guides is you are manifesting what it is that you want set your sights higher to uh, get to get more to get something better And then stay completely focused on what it is that you want. Okay, so let's just get a little bit of tarot here. Pull some tarot cards. What messages do you have? Again, with the manifestation, the magician. What messages do you, further messages do you have for pile one? Okay, so, we, so again here we have a message of manifestation. Uh, the magician is the master manifester, but it is a manifester on the material realm. It is calling up to the divine, setting your attentions with the divine, and if you notice his hand is going down here, it's pulling it down to the earth. But it is also very practical manifestation in that you will have to do some things. And... You have everything that you need in the material world to make your dreams come true, whatever that is. If you need people to help you with your desires, you've got the uh, cups here to represent the relationships that you need. If you need money uh, for a business venture or money for uh, whatever it is that you want to do, whether that's travel or take a vacation or whatever it is your heart desires. If you need money, that's available to you. If you need uh, intellect, good ideas, you've got this sword here to represent uh, clarity of thought. And you have the energy with the wands here. You have the creative creativity and the energy that you need to make all this happen. It's basically saying whatever it is that you want to manifest, you have all the tools available to you to do that. With the Five of Pentacles here, uh, this is a card of mm, being down and out. It's a card of being cast out in the cold. It's a card of poverty. Um, it's in this particular deck. It can mean uh, like you're leaving an institution or have left an institution of your own accord because it was so bad in there, you have decided you'd rather take your chances out in the cold than to be in that institution. You do have one person that you that you trusted from this place that you're leaving, that you're taking with you. You notice he is also wounded. He's got, he's on crutches, something's wrong with his leg, um, broken leg. So, uh, 
Sometimes this card can mean taking your leave from a bad situation. Uh, and I usually say it's an inst some kind of institution, it can be a job, a corporation, uh, can be, it can be a, a financial institution or it can be a um, religious institution, some kind of, this is a church, but uh, as I always say, back in the times, the medieval times, the churches were some of the only institutions that were around, so. Poverty, lack, cast out in the cold. You're, you're seeking balance in your life, basically. You're trying to juggle it all, uh, and you're having trouble juggling it all. But whenever you're... And that's probably the, the message from Spirit here. Whenever you're in a place like this, when you're... When it's so bad, you're in a poverty-stricken place and it's really bad, or you're really down and out. When you're looking at your desires and looking at what you want to manifest, it's usually very small. It's really just, I just want balance. I just want to be able to balance my finances. I just want to, the checkbook to balance. I just want to be able to pay my bills and have a little bit, over left, uh, little bit left over next month to, uh, you know, Maybe go out to eat or something. That's all I want. Uh, it's uh, It has been such a struggle just to make ends meet. All I really want is just balance. And that's why this is saying to set your sights higher. Think abundance. Think absolute, complete abundance. Don't think just making ends meet. So over here we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups for me is the card of cancer, minor arcana for cancer. But it is also a card of an older gentleman who is very good at relating. Um, good with PR. Uh, a human resources manager kind of person. Or it is someone who is at the top of their game when it comes relationship to relationships. They have mastered their emotions. They understand them. They use their emotions to make decisions, but they don't. They use other factors too. They don't let emotions take control of, of their life. See a lot of water here. Water, 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 water. So, hold the course. For some of you, it, it's a take. It's taking a trip. You want to take a trip. Um, I know these are odd times to do that, but I've been traveling. I <laughs> since COVID nineteen started last year, I've been traveling around the country, kind of. Just you, just be cautious, and you know. Um, Take your car, don't fly on an airplane. It's okay. In my opinion. Okay, so for others of you, you are, you've kind of been down and out in a relationship kind of situation. And again, what you're seeking is balance in the relationship. That's what these cards would say together if it's not. If it's not money that you're trying to balance, this then this is down and out in a relationship and you're trying to bring balance back into it. Again, the message from your spirit guides is set your sights higher. Is that really what you want? Do you really just want to bring balance back into this relationship? Or do you want this relationship to be amazing? Do you want to uh, be in a relationship that is that you're really connected with the person? Do you want to bal bring more balance back into this relationship that exists? Are, or are you looking for something more? Are you looking for more connectedness? Are you looking for more... Um, relating better and for some of you I think you're actually looking for not only you're looking for more adventure in your relationship there's a boat there uh, on the high seas I think that uh, 
another boat. I think for some of you, you're looking to not only heal the relationship, but you're also, and water is about healing too, but you're also looking for adventure inside of the relationship. You have been in a little bit of a bad place, but you're not, um, and you do want it to heal it. You do want to bring balance back into that relationship, but I think some of you are wanting more. You want it to be more. And that's what this is saying. You're manifesting your heart's desire right now, so you might as well put the, your wish out there in the universe for exactly what it is you want. If you want a relationship that is healthy, uh, find the people in the world who have the healthiest, best relationship, or that to you. I know that's different for everybody. Most of the relationships I, I know of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have for 10 cents. But uh, figure out exactly what you want that relationship to look like. Do you want to, and that's what you want, right? Do you want to spend X amount of days with that person and then the other days you're off doing your own things because you have, you know, you want to have a life of your own as well. Maybe you have a job that's pretty demanding or maybe you have, you know, other girlfriends that you like to hang out with too. Would that be the ideal relationship to you? Would the ideal relationship to you be uh, you and this your mate get an RV and you travel around the country and you're just you just have this amazing connection with this person, but you also have adventures with this person too? Would your relationship be the traditional um, having uh, family like? getting together with someone, getting married, buying a house, having a family, that very traditional kind of American relationship, is that ideal to you? Whatever is ideal to you in the way of relationship, your uh, spirit guides are saying, put that out into the universe and focus only on that which is ideal, only on that which you want. Hold the course, it will happen for you. So as far as people cards, cancer is the only one that I'm seeing here. Um, see if I can get, if I get any other messages. So this is, um, this reading is for the week of February 7th through the 13th. And you got the number 14 here. So it looks like for some of you, maybe what you're setting your sights on starts taking shape, heart's desires manifesting, starts taking shape, not this week, but next week. Um, so that's why uh, you've got this one last opportunity to go big, go big or go home, set your sights higher. Okay, I think that's it. I think that is the, your message from uh, your spirit guides for this week. So until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, guys. If you chose pile two for this week's reading uh, with the topic, messages from your spirit guides, this is what I got for you. Uh, pile two did have the amethyst quartz crystal on it. And... So I just picked out some oracle cards first, and then I'll pull tarot as we go through the reading. So the general message from your spirit's guides for this week, what to expect for February 7th through the 13th, is hmm, red rock nurturing. Uh, for the angels and ancestors card, I asked the question, what words of wisdom do you have for pile two? And you got sun. Enjoy success and happiness. For the sacred traveler, I asked the question, what does pile two need to do, if anything? What action do they need to take? And you got desert passage. Trust there's a divine plan. Okay, so nurturing, uh, success and happiness, and trust in a divine plan to me that says, uh, the sun is coming out for you guys. Because you're going through something, you're going through a healing process. There's some nurturing here. The sun is out to nurture you. 
um, because you are going a little bit through a rough passage here, just a rough patch, not horrible. There's something you can't see. You don't understand what's happening, really. Um, desert indicates dry, right? There's no lush, there's no green, there's no fruitfulness, there's no um, water, nourishing water. So that indicates that you've been through a bit of a dry spell here. In whatever way that resonates with you, and it can be with your finances, with your career, with your job, uh, with fulfillment in your job, with family, there's been a rough patch, with uh, a significant other, there's been a rough patch, with dating, dry spell, that indicates dating sometimes too, um, but it's significant, it's not like a, a dry spell, oh, I haven't had a date in six months, it's like it's been a long time, and you're kind of wondering, you're kind of worrying. It's like, what? when will things break open for me? When is something going to happen? And so your spirit guides are sending in you, into you love and uh, sunshine and happiness w this week to let you know that they're wrapping their arms around you and protecting you. And they know that you're tired and they know that you're hurting and then you're, they know that you're ready for something to break open and they're just sending you their love this week and and asking you to trust just a little bit longer that there is a divine divine plan that a breakthrough is coming for you um but it you just you, you just and uh maybe it's while mercury is retrograde okay uh, this Mercury retrograde feels so much more significant than others. Um, and I think because after, okay, let's just, for me personally, three years, the last three years has been just pretty rough. Pretty much nothing's working. I, uh, I try so many things. Every avenue it seems like I've tried has been blocked. Um, the loss, there have been losses of you know, things that in the end don't, you know, they're not that important. Um, but at the time when you're going through it, it's like, oh, really? Um, plans, I've had, you know, every year I make a vision board and I'm always really excited about it. This is what I want to accomplish this year. Um, last few years, just not, you know, I still have those, just not worked out. Not, just been in a bit of a... a I, I guess you would call it a dark night of the soul. I've been through d darker times for sure. Uh, and I think at this age, I've kind of learned that th it's at this time, these times in your life, there's nothing else you can do but take care of yourself. Do your meditation, do your yoga, do your walking every day. Um, uh, do your due diligence, whatever you can do, apply for jobs, whatever, you know, do what you can and then let it go. And so there's, uh, I understand the frustration when it's that long, when it's three years and it just feel like, feels like no, everything I've tried to do, it just seems like the universe has said, no, not that, no, not that, no, not that, no, that's not it. And you get a little discouraged sometimes. It's like, what is it? Okay, what is it? <laughs> So that's where you're at this week and the universe is just sending some love down to you to say it's going to change, maybe. Um, and I think that's how I started this story. This retrograde feels worse to me than most because things were starting to shift. I was starting to see an improvement. I was starting to see things move forward. Things were happening. I could tell. I could just feel it. Um, so then this... Uh, retrograde where things just kind of move slowly and, and it's, it's a time to reassess and to uh, reevaluate and redo and uh, take care of, you know, things that you mm, want, need to take care of before you move forward. And I get that and I understand it. Um, but this one was a little bit rough and I think probably that's your message until Mercury turns direct in the, on the 20th. You are in a phase of redoing stuff, of rethinking stuff, of reevaluating just to make sure 
you, when things start moving forward, you're on the right track and you're ready to go. That's what it is. You gotta be ready to go when um, things start moving forward again. So um, the universe is just trying to say, I get it, I understand your frustration and I'm sending you some love this week. So the nurturing part of it, I, I would say is, uh, you know, uh, your spirit guides trying to tell you to trust in this process, but as you're going through the desert and the hot desert sun, do what you need to nurture yourself. Whether that is, I mean, we all have different routines, right? Some people like to go to the gym. I don't, but some people do. Some people like to go swimming, like uh, those Olympic-sized swimming pools. Some people like that, and I get it. The older I get, the more I think, mm, that might be my next thing, you know, my next big thing, because uh, it does feel good to be in the water. Um... What do you do to nurture yourself? Do you get out, go out with your girlfriends and have uh, some gossip and some wine? You know, that's nurturing to your soul. Whatever is nurturing to your soul, pay attention to that and do that this week. That's what, that's what your message is. Okay, let's see if we can get this. That's a lot of information. I don't know how much of that I'm going to keep in there. So what other messages from tarot? What messages from tarot do you have for pile twos? What messages do you have for pile twos? I think that's plenty. Okay, <laughs> no surprises here. Okay, so you did get the Page of Swords, so there might be some uh, unexpected news coming in this week. Can be some upsetting news uh, for some of you, and maybe that goes back to the nurturing again. You, if it is upsetting news, uh, this is your spirit guides are trying to ask you to trust that there's a divine plan and to take care of yourself as you move through that process. That's just for a few of you, because for some of you, I think it's unexpected news. I think you're getting some information about uh, some financial thing, some money thing that's going to come up for you. Maybe it's a job offer. Whatever it is, though, it is slow-moving energy. And again, I think that goes back to where that patience is going to pay off. There will be success and happiness. Um, Uh, in in divine timing because the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving energy. So that also tells me um, this news may be something that's coming up. It's not something that's happening right this second. You still uh, have a bit to go um, with whatever it is that you're dealing with, but you get some information Sun. I'm, I'm focused on the sun here. The sunshine is always success, joy, happiness. You get some information, I think, this week that's, that shows you that there's going to be relief from that. And although it is slow moving in energy, it's not here just yet. But you have to trust that it's coming. Uh, and this will help you. Whatever this message is, it'll help you. It can also be um, the Page of Swords is uh, Minor Arcana for Taurus. So maybe a Taurus person has uh, something to do with your situation. But... Um, this is also clarity. The swords are about thought, intellect. So this can also be, if it's not a message that comes to you, it's your own clarity of thought that helps you see through the mess, basically. See through the desert that you've been in. And that gives you an idea of what you can do to kind of move your situation forward. It's not happening just yet, but it is going to be successful. And I know that because you got this nine of cups here, which is the wish fulfillment card. It's a card of your wishes coming true. Whatever it is that you wish for, it happens. Okay, so you got the chariot card and the chariot um, is a couple of things. It can indicate travel for some of you that might uh, be some, you got a horse and you got these horse, or, well, there's sphinxes in this in this deck, but uh, sometimes they're horses, you know. But it is movement and it is travel. 
So I feel like you're getting some information that tells you there's movement coming up. It's not here yet, but there is moving coming movement coming up. Again, with um, getting information or an indication that things are going to move forward, like you have an idea or something, it's not a quick, get quick rich scheme or anything like that. It is something that takes slow and methodical work to make it happen for your wishes to come true. This kind of uh, is a card of that too, using your willpower and your determination and your singular focus on whatever your goal is to balance like opposing forces and make sure everything is going in that direction. So once you uh, figure out what this is, um, it's gonna require some sheer willpower and some determination, but you have all that. You have all that in spades and you are going to succeed. It is gonna be successful because you got that wish fulfillment card. The most important message I think here for this week is to take care of yourself as you're working through this process. Nurture yourself in some way and trust that there is a divine plan here and it is coming together. And I think you get some indication this week that it is coming together. Okay, that's all I have for pile two. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile three for your pick a card this week, uh, these are gonna be your messages. Pile three did have the aqua or, or quartz on it, just as a reminder. Uh, th these messages are for February 7th through the 13th. So the topic is uh, messages from your spirit guides. One of my subscribers requested it, so that's what we're doing this week. Um, so let's just take a look here and see what we got. So the general message from Spirit for the Week is San Francisco Peaks Sacred Magic. Hmm. This is from the Sedona Oracle deck. Uh, hmm. From the uh, Angels and Ancestors deck, I just asked the question, what words of wisdom do you have for Pile 3 for the week? And you got Oracle. Wait for important information. And for the Sacred Traveler uh, deck, I just asked the question, what does Pile 3 need to do? If anything, what action do they need to take? And you got far away places, get ready for new horizons. Okay, you guys. Nice. So I think magic is in the air and that is what this is saying. Um, I think you can expect it to start forming this week. I'm going to take a peek here at this, what this means, the San Francisco peaks. I mean, magic, that's kind of hard to know what, you know, that's different for everybody, right? Okay, so it says the San Francisco peaks. These are uh, north of Flagstaff, Arizona. It's really pretty up there. Um, these awe-inspiring snow-covered mountains, the tallest in Arizona, located north of Flagstaff and visible for hundreds of miles. As the ancient home of Hopi Katsinas and Navajo Yei, it is a very sacred place to both native and non-native people. If you draw this card, there may be sacred magic around the next corner. Be prepared to receive it and use it wisely. Okay. So there is magic coming in for you guys this week. Now, mm, that's pretty exciting. Uh, it looks like to me that you don't have to do anything except get ready for an adventure, get ready for new uh, horizons at faraway places. It's coming. Uh, and maybe because you've been asking for it. Could be travel. This looks like, uh, I'm, I don't know my Asian languages. I don't <laughs> I don't know much about the Asian countries, so I don't know where this is at exactly. It looks like China, Korea. Um, I don't know. Uh, Vietnam. I just don't know, but it's really cool looking. I wouldn't mind going there. It looks exciting and fun and interesting. Okay, so magic is happening this week for you guys. That's cool. <laughs> and But the thing is, you are going to have to wait for some important information. 
I am going to pull some tarot if I can see. So this is what's happening this week. So it looks like maybe it's not all together. Like it starts happening, the magic starts this week. And uh, by get, get ready for far away uh, places, to me that says uh, put, your, put your house in order. Get things ready. What if you were to get a call for um, a job that's halfway across the country? Maybe in Arizona. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, who knows, right? Okay, so are you ready? That's the question. Do you have, uh, have you cleared out all your stuff? Don't take any junk with you to your exciting new horizons. Don't take junk with you. So this is a time to get prepared. We are in Mercury retrograde. It really is a time to get pre prepared for those kinds of things. For when you get that call, when you get that important information, when that comes in, you're ready to go. Okay. So that is really cool for my pile of threes there. Excited for you. Uh, the magic is happening and you're going to have an adventure maybe in a far away place. Can't, I will say this also, far away may mean far away from where you are right now. And it can be in a mental plane or it can be in a relationship. It's like far away. It doesn't have to be a place. It just uh, uh, new horizons for you. Far away from where you're at. Okay, so for pile three, tell us what the messages are from tarot for pile three. <laughs> okay, okay. My goodness, my friends. All right, you got the seven of cups. You got the full card. You got the ace of swords. Uh, the High Priestess and the Page of Cups. Okay, so I'm not even real sure how these go, but this is the way we're going to do it. Uh, I know this goes down here. Get ready for New Horizons because the Fool is all about starting fresh, starting in a new path, uh, taking a leap of faith, jumping off of the cliff, and uh, into your bright, beautiful new future. Now, is it going to be bright and beautiful? You don't really know. That's the thing about the full. You don't know how it's going to turn out. You're taking very little with you. Notice that. Again, clear stuff up. Clean stuff out. Get ready to go. Um, this guy does have very little in his pack. He has a flower, which represents the hope that you... It's gonna turn out, right? You hope it's gonna work. You don't know for sure, but you you have that faith, right? That's why they call it a leap of faith. And this guy's taking a trusty companion, his little dog. So you um, are just taking the bare necessities with you. Uh, where are you going? I don't know. What are you gonna do when you get there? I don't know. Who are you taking with you? Mm, I don't know, maybe my dog. <laughs> it's that kind of situation. You just don't know how it's going to turn out. But you're ready for it. You're up for it. Um, the Page of Cups is Minor Arcana for Pisces. We are getting real close to Pisces season, and I'm wondering if that's like, when this says get ready for New Horizons, I wonder if that's when the actual movement happens. Like this week, you're waiting for important information. You're getting your house in order. You're you're getting your you're dwindling your stuff down to one pack. Uh, and then in Pisces season, which starts February twenty, I want to. It's always it's always you know nineteenth through the twenty second. So let's just say February twenty second. Pisces season starts, and then that goes to. March 19th or 22nd, whatever that date is, too. So, end of February to, like, the third week in March. So, I'm wondering if this is maybe a time frame for some of you. And the other message for this is have fun with this. You've been wanting it. You've been wanting fun. It's been a long time. Seems like it's been a long time since you've had fun, right? 
Uh, and that's kind of what this card remind, reminds you uh, reminds you about. It's like, don't forget to have fun. Life is supposed to be fun. It can't be all work all the time. Um, so this opportunity offers you f some f fun for sure. The two of, uh, oh, sorry. The high priestess is the two in the major arcana is a card of spiritual wisdom. It's a card of feminine spirituality and wisdom. It's a card of your intuition. So whatever this situation is for you, I think that you're going to be required to use your intuition uh, to move forward with balance in this situation. Even though it's a great adventure and it looks like a lot of fun. There's going to there's going to need to be some wisdom here and it, it, this is saying Oh, you got the Oracle. Okay. You might want to consult somebody, actually. Um, this is using your own intuition, tapping into the divine yourself, like however you do that on a spiritual level. Some people do it through meditation. Some people do it through reading cards. However, what tools you use uh, to tap into the divine, um, yoga, whatever it is. So, with this Oracle card coming out with this High Priestess card, it, tell me some, it tells me that some of you guys in this situation are probably going to consult a, like, some kind of spiritual, and it looks to me, feminine uh, leader. Like, maybe a psychic or a fortune teller or um, a High Priestess, a mystic, a seer, some, some kind of person like that. Or, or you're consulting the Oracle um, yourself. But there's, you, there's some information that you need here before you make this move. Okay, so the Seven of Cups. I don't know how to read this. I might get a clarifier on this because this is actually looking at all possibilities, kind of pie in the sky, a little bit uh, daydreaming too much. Like there's so many options out there. And you can see all the possibilities from all the options. And this card is like saying you, you need to pick one. Yes, you can have whatever it is you want. You can't have it all at the same time. You can't do it all right now. So pick one and focus on that. And that will give you clarity. This represents clarity. I think that might be what this is saying. I think some focus is required here. Like so many daydreams, it's hard to make a decision on which one you want. The good news is you can do whatever, right? It looks like you have no restrictions as far as that is concerned. And maybe that's why part of the problem. The world is wide open to you and there's so much to do out there. It's hard to make a decision on the one that you want. Um, so this is saying that you do pick one and this says that too. Uh, clarity. This sword, aces are always new beginnings. This is a new beginning that is on offer from the hand of God. It's got the hand of God in it, so it's from the divine. Um, again, the swords are thoughts, their ideas, their intellect. It's that kind of thing. Uh, this is a victory, so you do win a, a new beginning, and it is quite a victory for some of you. Maybe it's been a long time coming. But with this card, it's telling me it comes from your clarity, your clarity of thought. And for some of you, it tells me it's a recent clarity of thought that has brought this about because uh, this, the Ace of Swords is, all of the Aces are timing cards for me, and this is a winter time for me. So... Uh, what is winter? December, January, February. Um, it looks like you've just gotten clarity on what it is that you want for reals, which one of these ideas you want to run with. And because of that clarity, things start moving. They're moving. They're happening. And it's happening. Something happens this week. Magic starts to unfold. You still... 
uh, you get this new beginning that takes you to far away places. But this is a week of waiting. You're still waiting a little bit for some information. Maybe consulting a, 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 a spiritual woman um, to help you. But you get this clarity of thought from all these possibilities and you move forward with it. Now, one more meaning for this card. That's, this is popping out at me right here. Uh, sometimes this means a surprise person, like a surprise person is coming into your life. That can be in, on a relationship level. It can be that you meet somebody um, that helps you with this situation, just unexpectedly meet somebody. Sometimes it's a baby, like a surprise pregnancy. I don't really see other cards that indicate that. This is really more about a new adventure and getting in touch with the adventure that you want and the poss from all the possibilities that are out there and getting ready for that adventure by streamlining, by you know just getting your st stuff down to the bare necessities so you won't take a bunch of crap with you that you don't need. It's magical. I'm going to get one clarifier on that Seven of Cups. Just to see, why is this seven of cups here? Why is this seven of cups here? Why is this seven of cups here? One more for the Seven of Cups. Okay, it's about the ideas. It's about uh, the possibilities because this is all uh, energetic energy that's coming into you. This is a heartbreak. So uh, that might be what the victory is. So it, for some of you, uh, there was a bit of a heartbreak. Something happened that put you in a space of unknown. I don't know what to do anymore. I um, was on this path. I was going in this direction for the longest time. And then something happened. And you have weathered the storm. It was pretty rough there for a while, but you have gotten through that. Okay, but once you got through it, it was like, I don't know. There's so many possibilities out there. I don't know what... I don't know what to do. I don't know which which cup I want. And uh, so again, it is about making the decision. You have made the decision. You got the in there's sometimes you can't move forward because you don't have the energy. Like when you go through something like this, you, the energy is gone and you don't have it. Okay, so then the energy came in. Lots of ideas, lots of energy. Gave you the possibilities, gave you the ideas, the wishes uh, that you put out there into the universe. I want this, I want this, I want this. A lot of daydreaming about what it is that you want. You made a decision. And I think you made a decision in the winter time. And it is coming true. Starts this week. Okay, again, so this week, it be pr this week is about preparing yourself for your next adventure, it's magical. It's going to be really good. It brings fun back into your life. It is um, far from where you are now, whether that is in a new place or whether that is mentally or emotionally. It's far from where you are now. Um, you may want you may want be consulting some kind of uh, spiritual leader to guide you through this process, but it all looks. There's some more, there's some information. If you're not consulting a spiritual leader, you, there is some information that you need to wait for and it will come to you. Um, but you're gonna, you will, there's a little bit of a wait here, but it, it's so slight. The, sl the wait is so slight. It's like, Again, February twenty second to, to to March. I think I think you you see this week where it's coming.
I think you get some, some clarity on it coming, what it is, and uh, you're moving toward it. You will have to wait for maybe a contract, maybe if it's a new job, signing a contract um, will come later, I think maybe in, in Pisces season, but you do see this week that you're moving forward into a new adventure. Woo, okay, that's good. All right, that's all I have for my pile threes. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste.